Well, always in search of new tools. This uh, set of uh, silicone tools, or whatever, are from Lorme Seven Piece Silicone Cosmetic Brushes. All right, these are the tools. And um, they're made out of silicone, a soft, really soft silicone. And uh, they're made for makeup. I'm not sure exactly how these work, but I don't put makeup on, so I don't know. Uh, this one and this one are a little wide. And uh, I might cut them down a little bit and make them a little stiffer. This one's a pretty good shape. I like this shape on this one. And uh, I don't know how long it'll last. We'll have to wait and see. Here's another really useful shape. A little stiffer. Another useful shape. I'll try these out and see how they work. There's a uh, kind of a fret and kind of like a chisel type uh, look to it. It's it's a uh, stiff er, and then this little tiny pointed one, which might be really handy for some of the uh, tight uh, smoothing areas. So that's the uh, set of tools. All right, everybody, let's get on with the day. Time to play with some play. All right, I took this uh, one wide tool and made it into a, kind of like a detail tool. A little stiffer, thicker, and uh, more useful than a wide, floppy <laughs> piece of latex. I'm gonna do the same with this one here. Made a different shape for this one. And uh, we'll see how it all works. All right, I first have to Establish the center line for the face. No, it's not quite center. Do that one again. I think I'll just do that with with the uh, metal tool here. Establish the center and just roll it up. That gives me a, a reference line. Get my half head measurement. That's better. And then the other half, I think I'll mark that with a tool. One of my purple tools. And another half. Okay. All right, I'm going to come back. I'm not going to show everything I do 
only because I cover this in my instructional videos and uh, I'll come back when I get a little further along. One way I keep myself in the studio and I can buy clay to work with and pay for the internet to put the uh, videos that I shoot on to the web is through my sales of my uh, instructional videos. Um, if you're so inclined, uh, check the link below this video uh, where I have a review of all nine of my current instructional videos and uh, see if you possibly find anything interesting there. Um, I pretty much give you my over 50 years of experience in sculpting and uh, I'd really appreciate it if you'd uh, consider purchasing one or two or even all my videos. Um, they're streaming online on Vimo and uh, you need a passcode to see them but that works forever as long as you have that passcode and the link so please uh, consider that and let's get busy on sculpting now. End of promotion. Now this is a small anatomically correct skull that I got from Anatomy Tools. It's uh, they have the male and the female. This is a female, and there's a definite difference between male and female skulls. Uh, there's not much of a ridge uh, here above the uh, nose uh, on a female, and uh, they're a little more delicate in their features. But uh, anyway, that's. Uh, what I'm going to go by, uh, of course, being a Native American, she's going to have a little bit different uh, structure to the uh, skull. And uh, I'll work that in. The skull is just a basis, just a beginning point for the uh, actual sculpture or face that I'm creating. And... Uh, I'm still trying to keep it within the uh, proportions for the uh, figure. Let me just check my measurement again. Because you can get carried away sometimes. Now the measurement's right on the button. But anyway, I'm just trying to get the uh, underlying structure of the uh, skull because it really determines the uh, facial features. And I'm just taking my time, not rushing it, trying to keep it balanced and uh, Being mindful all the time that still has to have a feminine look to it. I'm finding these uh, makeup tools are just a little soft for working with this clay, but uh, I'll keep trying. I never give up in anything. I'm just trying to even out the uh, width of the skull on both sides and the shape of the uh, jawline as well. I don't want a, a masculine jawline. I've tried to get these eyes evened out. Believe me, when I tell you this is a 
hard thing to do. You're trying to make both sides not perfectly alike because nobody's face is perfectly alike on both sides. But trying to at least getting them close to being the same size and everything and the same distance from the center line and trying to get a particular look in the eyes it's not an easy thing to do i'm basically running out of time right now so i'm going to probably call it quits here in about another 10 minutes or so but uh I still got a lot of work to do on the uh, brow and stuff like that. I'm finding these little makeup tools are not bad. They do have an effect on the clay, although it takes a little more stroking on the clay to get it to do what you want it to do, but it's not damaging anything. So... Let's see what happens with these things. I made another tool uh, with a different shape to it. So it just out of that uh, silicone that I bought. And it just gives me a different type of uh, area that I can work in. But I'm still finding the old tool from... Uh, a friend of mine still is one of the best tools I've ever had. Even though it's damaged in some ways. I'm just trying to even out the face so that I can build up the facial features. And I'm going to do a little research tonight on uh, female faces in Native American female faces. All right, when's Thursday, I will have to go to the foundry. Uh, I'm coloring uh, one of the copies of my uh, crazy horse. And uh, it's going to be a full color bronze. And uh, that's going to take probably all day to do. But I'll uh, video it and uh, supply you with that. Tomorrow, I will come down here and work on this clay um, as soon as I get a chance to get down here. I got to do some prep work trying to uh, find the uh, some good pictures of uh, the type of colors I need on my bronze. And I'll be doing that uh, tomorrow and today. All right. Good night, everybody. Please give me a like and a subscribe. And ring the little bell. Also, don't forget I have instructional videos available now online. The link below this video shows you a link to a review of all nine videos. Later, everybody. Good night.